Hello everybody, welcome back to Thomas Plays Games. I'm going to be playing the Papal State um, in Europe Universe House 4, going for the Holy Trinity achievement. That achievement is, as the Papal State own Jerusalem, have Livonian Order, Teutonic Order, and the Knights as marches. So I need to have this province right here, need this guy as a march, this guy as a march, and this guy as a march. Uh, but yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm not going to rival... Hungry. I'm gonna wait a day or two before I rival anybody. Get the production efficiency guy. I think I can afford the diplo rep guy, and I'll probably need him to ally or to get what I want from Austria. And what I want is to join the HRE. I don't want the uh, no, I don't want the Shadow Kingdom event to fire the one where um, or I don't want it to not fire the one where all of the Italian provinces leave the HRE. But I do want the option to do things like that. And I'll fabricate on Provence as well. Let's turn off both my forts right now. Don't want to be Sienna's buddy. Yeah, so the Papal State can join the HRE. I just need pretty high opinion with... Or Austria to have a pretty high opinion of me. Right, let's go up to speed 3. Yeah. Austria is rivaled with France and Burgundy. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe I'll ally Savoy or someone. Milan might be useful. I'll go for Savoy. Good. That's two decent allies. And I'll probably go Aragon as well. And that'll be all my relations already done. And I think that's a pretty good alliance web. Cool. And... Looking at the knights, I think they're going to be too far away. Yeah, they're too far away for me to do anything. Remove Sienna from the map. I mean, I'd like to do that. I gotta join the HRE first. Let's drop that. Send out my boats to protect trade in Genoa. I think both these guys... Yeah, one's collecting in Venice, one's collecting in Genoa. There's a lot of money in Genoa, for sure. Okay, so... Let's rival Teutons. Oh. Okay, well, I'm dumb, but whatever. That's not a problem. I can... I'll probably have to attack him anyway. Let's rival Provence. I wasn't even thinking there. And I'll rival Florence, I think. Or maybe Ferrara would be better. Yeah, Ferrara is weaker than Florence, for sure. Looks like Poland-Lithuania formed a union already. That was pretty darn quick. I might as well get a guy here. Let's get myself a discipline guy. Can't hurt too much. Excellent corruption. So I at least know if I have any. And yeah. Build some boats. There and there. Let's get a fourth cab there and two more guys on there. To put us up to 14, which is about what I want. A 10 4 yeah, should be okay for the early game. Any fights I'll be doing here against weak little guys, too. Let's improve relations with this guy. I want to annex him as soon as I can. And we just gotta wait. Yeah, hopefully, uh, Castile and Aragon don't form the Union anytime soon. That'd be really nice. Influence Provence. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll try to attack Provence, but I might have to wait a while. Taking them would be really nice, but mostly taking Genoa. Genoa and Firenze are the two provinces that I want. Because that'll mean I get a pretty significant chunk of the Genoa trade node. Which, uh, Genoa... Venice is... Eh, it's okay. It's pretty good, but Genoa and English Channel are the best trade nodes for late game. Yeah, you'd have to you have to really try to get Venice to be the best trade node, but Genoa and English Channel are the two de facto ones. Cool. Good. Just waiting on these boats to go. Might as well. Yeah. Uh, maybe I won't mothball them. Yeah. Probably not worth the uh, worth it. Okay. Let's see what do I got. Our clergy. Let's give them a bonus. Let's give... Oh, these are the clergy. These are the burgers. Clergy. Uh, hmm. 
Lose three devotion. Make them happier, though. I could get a lot of admin points for this as well. And I guess I'll call the diet there. So I get all the bonuses possible. And that will even out our devotion loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as the Papal See, we don't really have our king die. We have our pope basically retire. Which is both good and bad. We're not going to... You know, if we get 3 stability, we're going to be at 3 stability for a long time. But if, um, you know, we're almost never going to get all three of these potential bonuses. Which I've seen more positives than negatives in my experience from the few patches I've played. And the few games I've played on this patch. But I, uh, you know, I'm hoping the Teutonic Order, Livonian Order, and Knights can all just survive while I gain my power base in, in Italy. <clears throat> and I'll go speed 4, since I really don't have anything to do while I'm still improving with Austria. Send these guys out to Genoa, and once this guy's done, I'll send him out as well. England declared war on France. Uh, so this happened before as well. Um, I tried to do a test run, but I had some technical difficulties. The you know England seems to try to win the war with France for the Union quite a lot, and really you know it's it's pretty doable. I did it myself recently, um, but it's not a you know, it's hard enough that I don't think the AI is going to be able to do it without, you know, throwing a lot of weight behind them. See, the thing that did happen in my game, though, was that Burgundy attacked France, which left Provence open to assault. Oh, it looks like Provence didn't actually honor the call with uh, France, but they're not open to... Oh, they already have a claim there. Um, let's fabricate on here. Yeah, so it looks like Provence didn't want to fight with France for the uh, Union CB. But France could get a lot of power out of this. Hmm. Yeah, sure, whatever. Why not? And someone wants Condottieri. I don't want to give Condottieri, though. Yeah. See, the problem with the Papacy is that we really don't get that much benefit from, you know, the, uh, we don't get the special Pope buttons, which uh, all the other Catholic countries get, which is a bit of a bummer. Could have been super helpful to have those things. Okay, so we need 193, so we need about 50 more opinions. So I'm not going to be able to get it with just the uh, improving relations. Almost there. Okay, so fabricate on the other province that I border. I'll start going for Ferrara. Yeah, it's a shame that he got allied with Austria so quickly afterwards. It would have been really uh, convenient to just attack Provence um, for these two provinces while he's weak. And still going for here. Once I join the HRE, I'll be able to attack into the HRE without any issue. The, um, in case anybody doesn't know, the way the HRE works is that if you are in the HRE and attack with the Cassus Belli, the Emperor won't join. If you're not in the HRE or you're in the HRE and you attack without a Cassus Belli, then Austria or the Emperor will join against you. And uh, you don't want to fight the Emperor because it's not just the Emperor, it's the Emperor calls, gets called in as a co-belligerent, not a, um, you know, just an observer or whatever it is. You can get a lot of points from these guys. Same here. And. I mean, I don't need the Diplo points that much. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty good. I got myself a General 2 2. You know. Not good at fighting, but really good at sieging, especially early on, where the forts are bad. Oh. Florence, I want a claim. I don't care where, I'm not going to be attacking him anytime soon. Sienna. Let's see. 
You're allied with Milan. You're allied with Austria, so I don't want to attack you anytime soon. And you're just allied with Genoa. Interesting. Now I should be able to take out Genoa. I think they have more boats than I do, but I might be able to get them. And I can't actually fabricate on Genoa because I don't have any bordering provinces that I own. Which is a shame. I would like a claim probably on Medena. If I was going to take anything, I wouldn't want to take the capital right away. It's a lot of aggressive expansion. Lose money, gain devotion, gain your devotion forever. Really? I mean, that could be really nice. Yeah, give me the, uh, yeah, give me that. For the rest of the game, plus 0.1 devotion. I mean, I value things that last the whole game very highly. Okay, Austria. Offer him military access. Cool. And what else can I do? I can't marry him, so the only thing I can do now is just give him a gift. Uh, hopefully 100 or 50 ducats will get me up the 7 or so points that I need. Uh, so I need 8 points. Right. Um, hmm. The papal ideas. Bonus religious unity, diplo rep. Oh, really discipline, that's good. Tax modifier. These are all pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that, that could be really good. But I need 75 ducats if I want to actually join the Empire. Yeah. Hmm. Yep, can't do anything else. I'm just at a point where I just need a few more. If I had that, I would be short by one uh, to join. Um, five years or ten prestige. Just take the prestige. I don't need it that badly. Almost done there. That nah, doesn't change it enough to matter. It's about two months, and then I'll be able to get that. And yeah, I can't even get any boost yet. One more month. Okay, there we go. And that'll put me over the point where I can now add provinces to the HRE. Um, see, putting my capital in will actually put me in there. And I'm a papal see, but I think, yeah, the current rank is a kingdom. So joining this will actually reduce my number of diplomats, but I'll get them back afterwards. We got a new pope. Not a very good one, but hey, he's new. Yeah, so we lost that one. Okay, that's really bad. That was like the worst one I've ever seen. Oh, man. Great. Just gonna pay 0.17 ducats while he's here. Um, so we lost, we lost a diplomat because uh, when you're in the HRE, you're not allowed, unless you're Austria, to have your uh, country be over a duchy in rank. So, um, you know, Austria gets some weird archduchy thing, which is different, um, and kind of, you know, breaking the rules, but we don't get that bonus. We're in the HRE as a member state, which means we don't get such awesome stuff uh, as being a kingdom, which actually is what we were beforehand. Not. Why am I losing so much money? But just the. Uh... No, I was making a lot more money before. I wonder where it's going. Vassals. Yeah. That's interesting. I don't know where all my money's going, but it's not here anymore. Almost get my second claims on those guys. I'll just bring you back. You don't need to be there right now. Let's see. Genoa and Gallery. Well, Gallery's real far away, so that's not a problem. Yeah, he's in the Trade League. Would I like some money? And the clergy to be happy. I don't want the clergy to gain any influence, so I guess I'll be losing that bonus. 
Um, I guess I'll ask for contribution and make a generous donation and try and even that out. Yeah, I get myself back up to a reasonable one. Okay, so this is the Kingdom of Italy. Um, so this is the Shadow Kingdom event. Um, so for years now, the Imperial Authority over the Kingdom of England has been waning. Successive emperors have failed to impose their will on the Italian states, uh, and large areas are formerly, uh, that are formerly part of the Empire have, lo have been lost to Venice and the Papal State who reject the Empire's right to them. I mean, I just kind of unrejected that. Okay, so unless Northern, em Northern Italy is firmly brought back into the Empire, the states may slip out of imperial control forever. So, um, basically this means that every province that's already in there, except these three, if these three aren't part of the Empire, then all of the Italian provinces here will leave the HRE. Which is, you know, kind of what I want. Because I don't want to be stuck in the Empire. I just want to expand into it for a while. But, you know, when when we get there, I'll, I'll worry about that. The, uh, the Shadow Kingdom's not the greatest if you're not in the HRE. Okay, I'm going to have to fire some of these people. Uh, and I'll probably... Let's see. Still can't pay for them. Let's fire that guy, too. Okay, so now I can actually pay for my own guys. And nobody wants to join me, so boy. Yeah, you don't have I don't have nearly enough favors for any of these things. And Genoa has so I have 18 troops total. And let's see here. I want you guys to support me. Good. Hopefully these guys were all a good general, so I don't have to. I'm not too far away from from this thing, so I might actually wait till I get Pike Square and then do a really quick surprise war on Sienna. Yeah, where do you have... Okay, yeah, so all of the provinces that I border are going to have to cross a river for that. Almost there. And then with the discipline guy and the bonus in tactics, I should hopefully be able to do this. Yeah, I don't want any of those guys too powerful. Austria and Bavaria are at war. I mean, hey, if that goes well enough, maybe I can... Nope. France is... Guaranteeing? Yeah, France guaranteed. Provence. Here. We didn't merge up with the rest of them. Cool. And I think I can get an admiral from there. So I'll grab that guy. Toss him in. 1 4. Sure. Sounds good. And your job is to beat up Genoa. And I might as well. I'm not doing anything with these diplomats right now. I've got claims all over. So I'll worry about what to do with that afterwards. Yeah, it'd be real nice to attack Ragusa. But Hungary's allied with him, which is a problem. How close am I? Just a few more months. And hopefully nobody else will be there by that time. How did Genoa end up at war with England? Oh, Genoa. Interesting. Well, he's winning. So that's a bit of a problem. I guess he's, yeah, he's out with France. Okay, I could now attack the Ottomans. I don't think I'll be doing that. Is he fighting? Hungary is fighting the Ottomans. Oh, and the Renaissance just fired. And it looks like Hungary's doing pretty well until, you know, the rest of the Ottomans show up. So we just got the Renaissance. Where did it spawn? It spawned up here in Verona. So it shouldn't take too long to spread to me. Yeah be any time at all. Two months? Three months? Uh, still a while. Uh, I could focus this. No, I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, because I have such a poor general, I'm concerned about attacking Sienna. Yeah, it's got Jin Gallery as the friend. Not ideal. Take Sienna. March. How many points do I need? I need 
two more months. So let's just pop up to speed five, try and get that going before anything else happens. There we go. Awesome. And it went down. Hopefully, okay, so Sienna and Genoa have not yet done that. So I'm going to start this one right now. Um, I have more boats than them. I wonder if England destroyed the Genoan Navy. That'd be really nice of him. Okay, so Sienna doesn't have any troops anymore. That's good. Now, yeah, I do want to keep Well, we all pop back and forth between these locations. Uh, just give me the points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, so we're pretty much matched on armies, and they have a decent amount of boats now. So I guess I'll have to keep an eye out on the boats. Maybe go speed three, just in case. Oh, wow. That's good. So I'll even be able to get the temples before... Or I'll be able to get the admin points ahead of time, which is really, really good. Yeah, while well, we're still not stuck with the, uh, you know, the the Renaissance increasing tech institution stuff. Yeah, that went up. That happens. Yeah, there's Gallery's army. And here is the rest of the Genoan fleet. Let's run away. When they leave, we'll be good. Didn't really lose anybody, which is important. Oh, there's the Genoans coming back as well. I mean, I'm pretty close to... Yeah, let's pop back in and only pop out when the... Can I make it out? Yeah, I can. And I'll only pop out for the actual ticks on the siege. Yeah, he's just hacking there. It's not what he should be doing. Let's pop out quickly and get back in. Of course, we broke, you know, disease outbreaks twice in a row, but happens, I guess. Pop out again, awesome, and get out of there. So, I would like Sienna, but Sienna doesn't want to give me Sienna. Come on. I would like to walk through you guys. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll just hit these guys too. Will I have a chance? Nope. Did not work. On the 17th. 16th. Oh, went away again. No boats died. But my guy actually... Oh, that's good. He's a better privateering. Well, you know. There are better bosses. Okay, so they have... We're pretty much tied on army. The only difference is that I now own or control Sienna. Yeah, Gallery doesn't want to leave yet. So I'm going to actually try to walk through these guys. Let's go up here to Genoa. Okay, so did Genoa get the tech? They have not picked up the tech yet. So I could get there. No, I'm not going to get there first. We're pretty much tied on general. Honestly, now who will get there first this time? I'm gonna be there on the same day. Keeps running away. Okay, let's see how this goes. So we're basically tied. I have more troops here. It's really good because I get bonus flanking damage. Let's go down to speed two, and hopefully my vassal. Yeah, there he comes. Is coming in to help. Pretty even on the losses. Okay, good. We rolled better than them by a lot. Wow. And once this guy pops in, it'll be a total victory. Once Grino gets in here, you know, or we can just win on our own. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna go siege Genoa. Can I have your country, please? Not yet. So the starting wars are going to be small and a little difficult to do. Um, yeah, I'll just wait here. Hurt my boats quite a lot. Yeah, shouldn't be... You know, if I can, uh, you know, siege Genoa, I'm going to take Genoa, because that's probably the most valuable province 
in the entire area. Eh, maybe this one's better, but this is pretty much, just because of the uh, center of trade, it's one of the most important um, locations in the early game to take. And I'm losing money. Raise more taxes, try and avoid that. I don't want to take loans if I can avoid it. Although taking loans is the worst thing. I'm to turn that off. Awesome. Okay, so he's coming in. We have Uberno's 1411, which is really good. That's insane. So this shouldn't really be a problem. Yeah, I've got bonus tactics on him. Oh my god, he's got demolished. Wow, Gallery. Holy cow, that was insane. He just doesn't have an army anymore. That is awesome. So the thing I am worried about, though, is um, expanding in Europe is very different than expanding in, like, Africa or, you know, some places in, like, India. Okay, that's a shame. So I need a new ally. I mean, Castile? Uh, yeah, let's try and get Castile. They're probably even better than Aragon. Although it's a shame that they got the Union over Naples as well. Sometimes they don't get both, which is you know, super nice to have um, as someone who wants to expand into Italy. Now, is Genoa going to attack here, too? No, they're not. They're not that stupid. Yeah. They have almost no troops, though. Yeah, with the, the bonus discipline, higher tech, and the really good general from my vassals just made this war pretty straightforward and not too tough to deal with. Okay. Yeah, I really want this province, though. So I got zero aggressive expansion, so I got I got AE to burn. And status quo. Great. Um hmm. Yep. Yeah, so we're sieging this uh you know, this should be pretty doable. I think this war will go well, and then we'll look on possibly avenues of, another, of other expansion in the next episode. Uh, thank you for watching Thomas Plays Games. I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye.